Hello, everyone! Welcome to the seventh. The seventh. Can you believe that? The seventh oh, episode well. of the Sunday Social. Man, why is that picture so blurry? Yikes! All right, well, before we get started, you guys know the drill. I'm going to go ahead and play our intro. So just a moment here, and then we will get started. Do I press again? Oh. Hope you guys liked that nice little intro there. But yeah, welcome everyone. Can you believe that we've had seven episodes already of this talk show, Dealy Bopper? Oh gosh, welcome everyone. We're going to have a full house today. This is going to be an extra special episode because the original guest, my good pal, Diamond Painting Dreamer, Diamond Painting with Dreamer, Dreamer, diamond painting with Dreamer, my good pal. She was going to be today's episode. However, she is having an unfortunate case of construction work outside of her home. So we had to reschedule. But don't worry, she'll be back, I'm sure. We talk all the time. She'll come on the show. But luckily, I am part of this cool gang. It's not like a motorcycle gang or anything. But it's a cool gang called the Hooters and Heifers. Have you guys heard of that gang? Ugh, sorry, I'm trying to get more wax in my pen here. Can you guys hear me okay? We'll probably, we'll probably like start there. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. There, now I go. Okay, thanks, honey. Love you. Will you shut that door so Sour Patch doesn't claw on my chair? Yeah, she's sleeping. Okay. Is Thanos in here? Sorry. Yeah, Sour Patch Kitty. You want me to get him out? No, as long as he's inside. Okay, cool. Sour Patch Kitty will come behind my... I have a stand-up office chair, right? And Sour Patch Kitty will come up behind my chair if she wants in my lap, and she'll try to jump on the back of my chair. And the problem with that is she usually misses, and she'll, like, dig her claws into my back instead. So every time I do something like this or have to work... I tell Kerwin, get the dang cat out of here. I love her and all, but she, you know, stabs me with her demon claws. So, yeah, that's why that had to happen. And the whole Thanos thing is, like, we live out in the country, so when we let Thanos out to go potty, we just open the back door, and he does his thing, and then we let him in after a couple minutes. Well, we found out Thanos has been running across the street and going to the neighbor's yard and chasing the cows. Not a good deal. So now I'm paranoid that we'll let him out and forget <laughs> He's out there, which we've done, but we live in the country. It's not a big deal. So now I'm paranoid. Is Thanos in here? But he's in here. Anyway, yes. So I'm going to go through and say hi to everyone just really quick, and then I will go over what we're doing today. Um, so hello, Nicole. Welcome. First one here. Early bird gets the worm. <laughs> Hello, odd but nice, always here. Allie Snuffers, hey, don't think I've seen you here before. Welcome to the show. There's my good friend Dreamer I was telling you about. And Rebecca, that's another Hooters and Heifers clan. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Shelly MB, welcome. And it's not MD like medical doctor, like I always think. It's MB. Um, Hello, Shelly. Thank you, Odd. Mickey, and the newest member of the Hooters and Heifers squad. Odd, but nice again. Cranes. We're going to be talking about cranes later. Um, odd, but nice. Mandy Moran. Is it Moran? I don't know. Hello, Mandy. I don't think I've seen you in here before either. Robin Babcock, welcome. Um, let's see. Allie, we said hi. A shinnick. Whoa. Amber's up in the house. Oh my gosh, this is the best day of my life. Hey girl, hey. 
Um, who else do we have? Dreamer. Oh, Dreamer says she had a leak in her roof. Oh gosh, yeah, time to get that fixed. Let's see. Yes, I have, what is that? You've heard of those peeps. Rebecca's heard of the Hooters and Heifers, yes. Yes, Audrey, probably end of the line. Hello, Amanda, welcome. Did I miss anyone? Brian, another Hooters and Heifers. Even though Kerwin and I were talking, you know, Hooters means boobs. Girls have boobs, right? And Heifer is a female cow. So I don't know. We might need to consider changing the name a little bit around. Kerwin suggested Hooters and Bulges. I don't know. <laughs> Because Brian is a dude. <laughs> oh, oh, anyway, Venus needs to know he's not a farmer. I've been telling him that, but he doesn't believe me. Don Marie, welcome. Don Marie, she shares all sorts of cool pictures in my Facebook group. Everything diamond painting. I love her. Hello, Deborah. Welcome. Jacqueline Cyrus. I always pretend that you're my good friend, Miley Cyrus. It's cousin or something, but you're not, but that's okay. Um, mom's here. Mindy mom is here. Did I miss anyone? Amber, hey, Audie. Hey, good morning. Okay. I think I got everyone. If I didn't, just yell at me a little bit. I won't mind. And I'll shout you out. Oh, gosh. Now it's going to stay lit. So, since my good friend Dreamer, heifer is a term of endearment. Sure, but it, it's for girls, I think. I don't know. Anyway, we'll just leave it the way it is because it's OG. But he has been an OG heifer in Hooter, Hooters and Heifers member. So whatever. I feel like if he had a problem with it, he would say something. So we'll just leave it. Let's see. Hey, Crashly, I've done my first clay pen today from your vids. It turned out okay. Hoping to get better. Ooh, which video did you follow, Sharon? What kind of design did you do? Narada, welcome. Hey, everyone. Can't stay long, but nice to be here. Well, it's so nice to have you. Welcome. What was I just talking about? Oh, yeah. So since Dreamer's not coming in today, she had to cancel. So we're going to have the Hooters and Heifers clan up in the house shortly. Um, how about boobs and devils? Well, I, I don't know. Some people would say boobs are the devil or the people that have them. Hello, Brittany Miller. Welcome to the show. Sorry, I'm trying to like drink coffee and smoke at the same time and it's not working out for me. <sighs> Janice, welcome. So if this is your first time here and you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss anything else. And I'm gonna get to the subscribers later. And yeah, if you enjoy, please don't forget to hit that like button. That also helps the video stats. And eventually we're gonna get to a point where I can get the show funded and we can do more crazy cool things. All right. Now I'm watching the replay on YouTube here. Is anyone else like buffering or am I moving like really slow for anybody else or is that just me? Maybe it's just my replay. Can everyone see and hear me okay? I don't know if I asked that already or if I got an answer or not. Hatches and heifers. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, Sharon, I don't think you can, but if you have me on Facebook, you can send it to me on Messenger and I can see it there. Oh, hey, Janice. I don't know if I said hi, but hey. <laughs> Not funded, Mindy, or mom. That was like that was like the wrong word. If I can make money on YouTube, y'all, I can do more in my show. That's basically what that is eventually i'm hoping to get a better camera because i don't i just i don't know i don't like the blurriness i want to give you guys good quality content and so it just drives me a little crazy i didn't mean funded that was words are hard for me and if you guys are new <laughs> just letting you know i use the wrong words sometimes but my good family here in the diamond painting community they're so nice and they call me out all the time which i love because it helps me to not um have people misunderstand what i'm trying to say so then they tell me i need to fix what i said <laughs> you know <laughs> i'm on the road to recovery oh yeah odd had a 24-hour sickness oof geez are you feeling any better odd i sure hope so so we're going to do 
At the beginning of these Sunday socials, the first thing I like to do is go over the crafting current events after we say hey to everyone. Um, I will do that. It was my first, so I'm so proud of it. I am so proud of you for even giving it a go. I can't wait to see it. Please message it to me. I would, I would just love to see it, especially if it was my videos that helped me. How cool would that be? Or how that helped you, I meant. But yeah, I would love, love, love to see it. Are you heading out, Nareta? Thank you for coming in. We'll see ya. Don't spread germs. Yes, yes, okay. Stomach bug, I'm rehydrating. Good. So like I said, the first part of these Sunday socials is usually crafting current events. And if you look, I don't think I have them in this description. Dang it. In the description of all my other videos, <laughs> there is a form for crafting current events. If you have a channel or I don't know, you have a business and you're doing like a sale, there is a form that you can fill out to be um, for, to be mentioned in Sunday Social's current events. Um, here, let me exit out of that because that's distracting. Um, but it's not in this description because I did it through StreamYard and yeah. But it's in the description of all my other videos. If one of my mods want to go grab that link, feel free to share it. Because other than that, most of my current events that I say are things that I've just found out or heard through the grapevine. Some people share them with me. So I'm gonna go through what I did. Um, now, usually I bring up an ad from like Michaels and Hobby Lobby. I did not do it this time. <laughs> Sorry if that's something you look forward to, but I did not have time to do it this time. Um, but a few things I do have. Um, Okay, let's start with the sales that I know of. Now, Jen, my good pal Jen, another member of the Hooters and Heifers, ooh, ooh, she tagged me in something, and apparently Archer's Arts is having a 25% off sale right now. Hello, Rachel, welcome. So if you guys don't know about Archer's Arts, <laughs> let me tell you, he makes these gigantor ginormous diamond painting trays he has grinders but he makes them through his like industrialized 3d printer and yes Kerwin and I do have a 3d printer but ours can't do the things that his can do he is like an artist he has all sorts of crazy shapes and colors um if anybody can head over to the archer's art Face, I know they have a Facebook group. I'm not sure if they have an Etsy store. I probably should know that. I think they might. But if any of the mods can share that link, they are having a 25% off sale right now. So get it while it's hot, y'all. Oh, thank you. And Odd also shared the to be a guest on the show. Um, you can click that link. It's just a form you can fill out. We are booked out till May with guests, but fill it out and we can do pre-recorded too. So we, that's what we did with Pippa and that's what we we're gonna do with Dreamer, but she, yeah, that's okay. Sorry, I'm trying to get my light to fix to where it doesn't have that shadow. Okay, I just can't help the shadow, sorry. But yes, if you wanna be on the show, fill out that form. There, okay, so Allie just shared Archer's art. So yes, they have a huge sale going on. Oh, hey Dixie, welcome. Sharon, hey, I don't think I said hi to you either, but hey. <laughs> So the checkout Archer's Arts, solid sale there for us. Okay, now this next one. I sure hope I'm not about to give false hope to you guys. And if I am, I sincerely apologize. Oh, Dreamer, no, 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 it's okay. I'm not, nobody's mad, it's okay. I, I do demand to have you on my show. We just have to reschedule. Nobody's upset, though. I haven't had the Hooters and Heifers on my show in forever anyway. It's okay. No harm was done. Absolutely, you got to take care of what you got to take care of. I don't want you to feel guilty at all. And I hope I hope that I haven't made you feel that way because that's not what I intended. Please, like, yes, we will reschedule you because I love you and I would love to have you on the show. You will come on, girlfriend. Don't you worry. Take care of your roof. Ain't nobody mad or upset. We're good. Um, what was I just talking about? Oh yeah, false hope. So I got a notification on Etsy. I don't know if you guys have heard of Patty Wax yet, but I've been trying to get my hands on this Patty Wax SS, which is like the super sticky version of Patty Wax. 
and I got notification that there was some in stock. Now, that was about 10 minutes ago, and I did check, and it was there. There was only 10 left in stock. Crashly didn't have the money at the moment, so Crashly didn't get to buy any. But if you guys have been like me and you've been waiting for the Paddywax SS to be in stock, hopefully it's still there. It was 10 minutes ago, so I don't know if it still is. Again, I was in Mrs. Coffee's live not too long ago, and she was talking about it, and I think Robin was in there, and she said, I just posted up five more Paddywax SS's, and I had the money at that time, and I literally went to Etsy. I had it in my cart. By the time I actually went to submit the order after I put in my payment information, it was sold out. So <laughs> it, it goes fast. High demand. So hopefully it's still there. Hello to see you, Asuai. Welcome. If I nailed that name, y'all, I need a trophy. Is it Siu Asui? <laughs> Welcome. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. I'm, I'm not good with words sometimes. There are four left, y'all. Brittany, thank you for checking on that. So, yes, head on over there. And if you haven't already, if you favorite, like if you go to the Patty Wax shop or any Etsy shop, if you favorite it, then you should be able to get notifications once new things are posted by that store. And Rachel, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that's the case. I think all you have to do is press favorite. Um, and then, yeah, you get notifications. So if you haven't already and they are going to be sold out, oh, look, now there's only one left. <laughs> so favorite the shop. So then you get notifications once they post more. Okay, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and favorite it then. Woohoo, Mickey got some. And I would love to see how you guys like it. It's sold out now. So I'm really happy that it was there when I brought it up to you guys because I would feel just awful <laughs> if I gave anyone false hope. So at least hopefully it was us in this group here that <laughs> got their hands on it because that would be awesome. I hope you guys love it. And if you are unfamiliar with how it works or just want some suggestions on when you should use like the regular Patty Wax or Patty Wax SS, um, Rachel actually did just post a video. It was really good and informative. Um, and what she does is she she compares the regular Patty Wax and the SS. Um, and then she talks about, you know, heavy drillers or, you know, if you press the drill down lightly or heavy. She has a really good video up on her channel. I can't remember what day she posted it, but check that out. That might help you a little bit if you want to figure out which kind of wax you should use and what. She talks about like um, using the regular patty wax or whatever and the multi-placer and then the super sticky and the single placer and why and things like that. So if you need some help, check that out. Oh, Ot says there's four little tins. I don't know about all that stuff. I have four tens, but I don't use anything else. It just looks and it's out of stock. Oh, yes, of course, Rachel. It's gone. I'm so sorry. Hello, Rajul. Welcome. Not the big ones. What? What are you talking about? Oh, the big tens. Okay, well, I don't know. Um, oh, my God, I love patty wax. The smells are amazing. Yes, the SS is good so far, especially with the AB drills. They are mean to my pink wax. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. No more pink wax for me ever again. I am the same way. Oh, what am I working on? Thank you, Dreamer. Okay, so this is Galaxy from Diamond Art Club. And if you're not familiar with the image, this is what it is. And so, so far down here, I have like from there overdone and I still struggle, honestly, with working with larger diamond paintings where I should start and stuff. So I'm one of the diamond painters that do a lot of flipping. So now I have her on my easel sideways. That's just how I can figure out how to do it. But yes, there is a square size 42 by 53. So now I have her flipped over and I'm like right down, down in here. That's where I'm working. And yes, she has three ABs, actually. We have the white AB, I lost my tray, it's over there. We have white ABs, 
which you can kind of see right there. You can't, the camera's not picking it up. She has white, pink, and purple ABs. They are stunning. Oh my gosh. And it's just, oh, I have square envy right now. I had to, like, I love square so much. Y'all, that click that you get, and I don't know, the way they just form together. Like, look at this. I'm just going to try to move this over without causing a catastrophe. Look how beautiful this is. There's like no gapping. There's no space in between. And for me, I don't know why, but it just gives me, I don't know, more of a satisfying feel. I don't know when they all click together. Yes, mom, I do mostly squares because I, I, it's just my favorite. It, and it's not even the ending image, really. It's the satisfaction I get while I'm doing it. It just, I just love it more. I don't know. You should see the pen Ashley made for me. Yes, the parrot pen. I don't have it near me right now, but it's awesome. I will show you guys soon, though. Um, I wish we could still get that image. Oh, do they not have it anymore, Brittany? I bought this a while ago, but then I had to finish my other one I was doing for a review. And then I came back to this. I'm doing this one, actually, with my new BFF. Well, I have many BFFs here on YouTube, but um, my good friend, Shine Like a Diamond. We're launching a collab next week. Um, it was supposed to be last week, but she got sick. And then this week, as you guys know, well, I guess it's Sunday, so you know what I mean. <laughs> it was supposed to be two weeks ago she got sick. And last week I got really sick. If you guys watched my whipping chat, <laughs> you know why. But, um, yeah, so it's going to be next week. We have a bunch of really cool stuff planned, so keep an eye out for that. Um, let me see. White, too. Yes. Dreamer is working on Once Upon a Night. Uh, Diamond Art Club are my favorite squares. Um, I mean, there were a lot of little knobbly bits in the first couple of colors, but I think I've heard that they actually switched up their kits and the new squares are way better. But I will tell you for the first time ever, I ran out of a color and it was like the symbol for, I don't remember what color that is or what code, but I ran out and that one had a lot of knobbly bits. So I contacted them. And of course, them being Diamond Art Club and being freaking amazing, they sent me out another package right away. And so this new package that I got of this color, there were like no knobbly bits, none. They were perfect. And I even think they had more facets. Is it facets or fa? They had more little, what do you call that? Come on, someone give me a word. Is it facets? They just were shinier. I don't know what the word is, but yeah. I don't know. The The new drills they sent me were superb compared to the ones that came with the kit. But this is an older image. Older. <laughs> but Erica the Goober, I think, is by far my favorite artist. Except for the new one they got. This new artist, there's something about her. And she has, oh, fa faucets? Faucet? Like a faucets? Fa facets. I don't know. Anyway, soft A, faucets, whatever. <laughs> That's like what's on my sink, and, like kitchen sink, Fa faucets, whatever, I give up. But <clears throat> what was I just talking about? Oh, this new artist, oh my God, what's her name? Bailey, Bailey. Guys, her artwork is so stunning. And she has a YouTube channel, okay? She came up on my recommended. And she just posted this video. When did she post it? Oh, I don't remember when she posted it, but it was recently. And she talked about how her first um, her first diamond painting, she ordered her own artwork as a custom from another company. Don't remember which company she talked about. But it was before she signed with Diamond Art Club. And she talked about how um, she felt like they may have been trying to steal her artwork or something. Um, and then she talked about how she signed with Diamond Art Club. And uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted by chat. It, her name is Bailey Dreamer. Oh, what's her last name? It's Bailey. She has the one with the girl leaning over in the forest. She has one, I think, of in a bakery. Oh, gosh, she's so cool. I just love her. But she talks about how she signed with Diamond Art Club and how they're a really reputable diamond painting company, which they are. And she sits there and she's like, I'm doing a diamond painting of my own artwork. And it's just a really cool video. I don't know what the name of her channel, Bailey J. 
I don't remember what the name of her channel is, but you guys should go check it out because it's so cool. It's just so surreal. Like she's a legit artist and she's like getting introduced into diamond painting and she pulls out like, you know, this is how I store it. And it's like, <laughs> you know, we have all of our fancy gadgets and gizmos, you know? So it's just so cool to see such a big influential artist, you know, start out with diamond painting with her own amazing artwork. I loved that video. I watched it for sure. Oh, uh, Bailey J. Yes. At face it, faucet. Faucet is what goes on your sink. Face it. Let's just face it, guys. I can't figure it out, okay? <laughs> Alexa, how do you spell, how do you say face it on a diamond? Hmm, I'm not sure. See, even Alexa don't know. She don't know either. <laughs> oh, I inspired her to go with TAC. Yes, Shelly, you knew that. Round of applause for Shelly. Thank you for that, because it's like, I don't know. I love her artwork. It's it's definitely my favorite. Yes, Allie, feel free to link her channel. That is totally cool with me. And you guys, I do like sink faucets. Okay, it's a faucet. Okay, I got it. It's a faucet. Got it. Um, what was I just talking about? Oh, yeah. You guys, feel free to promote whatever you want on my channel. The only rule is don't be annoying about it. Don't post links to your channel or get people to go to your channel, leave mine or post your link a bazillion times. But like, there's no really big rules about like no self promoting here. That's why I made this show really is to promote other channels. So yeah, that is completely fine. Definitely post her channel here because it's, again, it's just really cool to see an influential artist like that discover diamond painting and the joys of it. Feel free. What, am I still saying it wrong? Faucet. Faucet. It's a faucet on a sink. Faucet. Oh, you guys are making my brain hurt now. One of y'all heifer are gonna have to tell her. Is it not faucet? It's faucet. Whatever. Fa ass and fat. Fa ass and fat? <laughs> I don't think that's it. <laughs> oh, I choked on my own spit. Oh, hold on, I need a drink now. <coughs> like fat? Facet? Facet? Is it like a twangy faucet? It's a facet? I'm going to go throw my clothes in the washer and get me a spoon and a fork and get my facet. I need to get my cold water knob fixed on my facet. Because it ain't working. Is that how you pass it? Mm -mm -mm. Oh gosh, I'm down a half a cup of coffee already. That was close. Anyway, what else is I going to talk about? Okay, giveaways. So, potato, potato. Oh, potato. Potato, tomato, potato. Anyway, distraction. Oh, anyway. Yes, so the new drills have many more faucets. I forgot how to say it again. Faucets. Faucets? Faucets. Faucets. I already forgot how to say it. How do you say it? Ass, acid, facet, facet. That's it. It's got more facets. So, faus. Anyway. Giveaways. So I don't know of a lot of giveaways going on right now, but someone filled out my current events form <laughs> and her name is Cranes Creations. She's been a good friend of mine for a long time and she is one of my Patreons and I love her. So she actually filled out my current one. Don't laugh at me. Don't come up in here and start judging me. I am your wife. Anyway, sorry. Why is everyone saying ass now? Facet. It's a facet. Let's facet. I don't know how to say it, okay? Jeez. Anyway, I don't know of a lot of giveaways going on, but again, Cranes filled it out. So Cranes is having a giveaway, y'all. She did give me permission to talk about it. She is having a 100 subscriber giveaway. Last time I checked, she was at... 90 subscribers. She is 10 subscribers away 
from doing her 100 subscriber giveaway. I just linked her channel right there. If you haven't already, go check out her channel. She does fun whipping chats, and I know she's playing with clay because I've been helping her with it. So maybe she'll do clay videos. I don't know, but I freaking love her. We talk on the phone, and she's just, she's just awesome. Um, Brian, I'm going to bring the Hooters and Heifers in soon. Jen's finishing up talking to her mom right now. So I was just trying to give her a couple more minutes. And plus, I only see Mickey and Rebecca backstage. So I'm just waiting on the rest of y'all to come up in here, and then we'll switch. But yeah, check out Crane's channel. She's only 10 away, y'all. Only 10! And I don't know. Just check her out. She's amazing. She's a good friend of mine. She's worth the sub, y'all. She's worth the sub. And I'm not talking about no Subway bacon, egg, and cheese sub. Kara! Care. Ah, like a Care Bear. Welcome. It's not Kara. It's Kara, y'all. Anyway, hey, Crashly, just joining, watching a Rocky Marathon with the hubs and got caught up in screaming at him to beat the heck out of Apollo. Well, did he get him? I don't know. You got it. Congratulations, Cranes. Cranes, I'm hoping by the end of this, you will be at your 100. That is the hope. But we'll see. Whoever just subbed what she's at now. Hopefully she's at 100 now. I don't know. We're, we're trying to get him. We're trying to get her there. It's so hard when you first start out to get your name out there, y'all. And that's what I'm hoping to do here a little bit and have some fun while doing it, you know? 93! <laughs> You're almost there, girlfriend. Okay, what else? Um, okay, and I am having a giveaway. Once I hit 500 subs, last I checked, I'm at 492. And this is going to be an awesome giveaway, guys. It's not going to be no chump change giveaway. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. He did. My nickname in high school was Care Bear. Oh, nailed it. Nailed it. Anyway, so I'm almost there to a giveaway. So if you like it, share it. You know, get your friends to come on over. We have fun here. Anyway, almost to the 500. Okay. So, and Brian and Mickey, if you want to see if you can get the rest of the gang to come on backstage, that would be cool. Ooh, Rebecca just passed 600. Congratulations. Okay. Uh, so, while we're waiting on the rest of the Hooters and Heifers. There is a more serious kind of topic I wanted to talk about just briefly because I know you guys are probably so sick of hearing about it, but I just found out recently that you guys know the virus going around, right? And it's a, it's a big deal. I get it. Okay. But do I think some people are overreacting? I don't know. That's their prerogative. I'm cool. Whatever. But the tidbit of information I wanted to share with you guys about it. Apparently, if you are monetized on YouTube, YouTube has the right to um, demonetize video that can has sensitive subject matters within them. And they do have a software that can depict certain keywords that are said within them. And I heard this in another live, and I did confirm it was true. If any of us are monetized, which I'm not, so I'm not too concerned about saying it or anything. I'm just trying to practice just in case of, you know, the, the hope someday of being monetized anyway. But if you say the word, the Hakamana virus, you guys know what it is. They will demonetize your video. And I did confirm that was true. And it just started. I don't remember when it just started, but it did. It's new thing. So if you are a YouTube creator and you are monetized, or even if you're not, maybe try to not say the name of the virus so much within your YouTube videos. Just found this out. It's just sensitive subjects. I don't know why. It's just... Just what I heard. Oh, hi, Angie. Welcome. Oh, uh, mine was Shaquina. Shaquina. Hey, Shaquina. I don't know if that's how you say it. 
Yes, they are. More people die from, yep. Don't say, yeah, don't say that word. I'm coming back. I'm coming to pick up a roll of toilet paper. Well, good luck, Uncle Danny. Y'all, Supersonic Station is my uncle. But yeah, we went to Jefferson City earlier and there was no TP and we're down to a couple rolls, maybe. I don't know. I'm just worried. Like, here's how Kerwin explained it. There are three waves of people. There's the first wave of people who are paranoid of being put in quarantine, that they go out and they stock up on supplies that they think that they'll need within three weeks. Okay. Then there's the second wave of people who are paranoid that they won't be able to get the supplies they normally need because of the first wave of people. So they try to go out and buy stuff. Then there's the third wave of people. And this is the saddest wave at all. This is the wave who doesn't have any like technology connections and just didn't know there was anything going on at all. And they're just bumming. But I think that we're all going to be fine. Uncle Danny did not sell a roll of toilet paper for $3,000. You know what Uncle Danny told me one time? He told me Bigfoot lived in my backyard. I was seven. And he made me believe that Bigfoot was in my backyard. Jeez, I do not believe in Hakamama. <laughs> Hakamina. <laughs> It just been announced over, what does that say? Just been announced over what? We're making all 70 and have lung problems. Yep. All are just one. I guess my neighbors don't care because our grocery store is stocked. Oh, lucky. Hey, Diamond Art Addiction, welcome. Sna stack up on snacks. I did too. Ask your grandma. Psh, whatever. Uh, let's see. It is crazy that they are clearing the shelves in the ways of people trying to make a buck out of people's fear. That wave is called Uncle Danny. Actually, YouTube was. You want to have every video that mentioned the virus. However, they walked back on that and are allowing Mana to date. Oh, I didn't know that, Dave. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not going to keep it a big subject matter, though, because it's just, it's a downer, and I don't want this to hold be like a, you know, a downer fest, okay? I just wanted to give that tidbit of information because I feel like it might be useful, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I don't have any more information about shipping out of China, really. Um, if you guys know anything new than what we already all know, feel free to put it in the chat. I haven't heard any new information. It's just slow. That's all I know. Um, so that's that. That's really all the current events. Let's see who we have backstage. We have Mickey, Rebecca, and Brian. Okay, so Jen Jen is still on the phone with her mama, I guess. Your uncle doesn't count. He was joking. Yeah, he'll say he wasn't. Hi, Lizzie. Welcome. Lizzie, yeah, YouTube CEO tweeted out that they had messed up and were allowing monetization again. Well, good, because I think it's crazy. And if it is something serious going on, we should feel free to talk about it freely. But I do understand that they want to try to control the wide span of panic. Um, but again, my channel isn't about <laughs> talking about panicking or diseases or anything. So I'm just not gonna, I'm just not gonna freak out about it. We're not gonna talk about it anymore. Also, I need to pick up my phone. It charges selling roll of toilet paper for $3,000. Is it 3,000 Monopoly dollars, Uncle Danny? I don't know. We always shop in bulk anyway, so <laughs> Like we're always stocked up on random stuff. I'm I'm not too worried. Plus, there's a bunch of wet wipes here and like <laughs> paper towels. Like I can wipe my booty with something. I'll find something. You know, if I just pee, I'll just you know shake my butt a little. I'll be all right. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> what kind of pens are you working on? I'm working on a bazillion custom orders right now, Angie. <laughs> we did just post those floral pens on the shop though. <laughs> I mean, we should be free to speak. I think so too, Mindy. You know, just because like, I don't want to talk about it for too long or anything. I feel like I shouldn't have to, I don't like stepping on eggshells anyway, but if I want to talk about it, I want to be able to. I just don't want to get in any trouble. You know what I mean? I have a cat. I can wash him repeatedly and he's soft and fluffy. Well, that's, that's a good tidbit. Yeah. Anyway, um, let's see who we have. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the Hooters and Heifers. 
And it'll probably get a little bit crazy, y'all, because we're crazy. But I'm going to start out by asking them some questions. And then we have a little game of Pictionary to play. Hello, Lisa. So we have 12-week-old baby living here. Baby wipes and all that. Yep. <laughs> I love your fan. Can't wait to get the one you did for me. Me either. <laughs> Let's see. Anything silly? Well, yeah. Gotta love crazy. Okay. So I'm going to bring them in. Y'all ready? Give me a wave. Brian's ready. Mickey, Rebecca, you ready? Mickey, you ready? Give me a wave, girlfriend. Hopefully Mickey's ready. Make sure you guys' YouTube is muted. We don't want to live in the twilight zone. All right, here we go. Got Brian. Hey. Hello. Got Crafting Journey. Hey. Hello. Here comes Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Hello, guys. Hello. Hi, this is just a smaller group of the Hooters and Heifers. We're still We're crazy. We are still crazy, yes. So last we talked with Marissa, she was in the middle of BFE, as she said. So she doesn't think she's going to make it. That's okay. And I talked to Jennifer, and she was on the phone with her mom. She said she wouldn't be able to come about 30, 45 minutes in. So hopefully she makes it in time. We will see. So this is the Hooters and Heifers right here. Where am I pointing? Right here is Brian Diamond Painting Elliot. Look at him waving with his little finger. Hello. Right here we have Crafting Journey with Rebecca. Right here we have Mickey Sunshine Creates. So yes, I did not link their channels in the description because I am a slacker. <gasps> What? No. But I feel like most of us are probably already subbed to them anyway. But yeah, this is the gang for today and hopefully Jen soon. So what we're going to do, my fellow hooters and heifers, <laughs> I'm going to ask you guys some questions and we're going to take turns answering them at first before um. we play Pictionary. And hopefully Jen comes in before we play Pictionary. But if she doesn't, that's all right. We'll be all right. Yeah. Hello, crazy peeps. Hi, friends. It's called Beth. Jen. Okay. So, if you guys have any specific questions, feel free to put them in the chat. Till then, I'm just going to ask crazy questions myself. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Diamond art addiction. First question. You guys ready? Yep. Okay. okay. So, we are all considered probably. Um, seasoned diamond painters don't you think we've been diamond painting for a while yeah. so yep. thinking about when you first started diamond painting to now what is one thing you wish you would have known then that you know now about diamond painting brian you first okay uh i wish i knew then i know um, I know the first thing I should have um, done is when I first started and I um, got a picture off of AliExpress, I didn't go too big with it. And I wish I did because oh, good it one. had detail. And so size matters. Yep. <laughs> Do you happen to remember that size? It was a 15 by 20. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it was too much that could look good in that size. It was a beauty, it was a beauty and the Beast stained glass picture with Belle, oh. Beast, um, Mrs. Potts, Chip, and all. And I got it actually for pretty much basically free off of AliExpress because it was I used some coupons or something. And it was my first ever done not my first ever diamond painting, but it was the first one off of AliExpress, and I wish I got it way bigger because it was very, very pixelated. Couldn't see That's nothing. <laughs> so what size did you say you got? A 15 by 20. So now that you're a seasoned diamond painter, what size would you suggest for something like that? Probably a 
40 by 50 or larger. Solid choice. Size does matter. <laughs> That's a good one. What about you, Rebecca? Oh, I, what's the question? <laughs> <laughs> so since you're a seasoned diamond painter, what's something that you probably like, didn't know at first that you know now that like you think would have been helpful? Like what's one of the biggest tips you've learned along the way? To um, not buy every single thing you see. <laughs> Ooh. Because the first few months, I just sat in bed at night and went, ooh, ooh, and then, you know, pressed by. And now it's all sitting in my stash. So, I yeah. We've all been there. I think we don't come talk about how we're, wish we're just learning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I, I remember when after I did my first one, how sad I was when I didn't have another one. And I was like, I can never let this happen again. And now I have oh, a stash. Yeah. <laughs> anything happened to me that's a solid tip what about you mickey do you have a one I, if i wish i'd known about popping drills i didn't know about them and i didn't know why they were being caused so have you found like tricks or um yes i go through and i throw out the ones that are bad anyone that has a, a nub on it something sticking out is a bad drill it's going to cause popping. That is amazing. Cause like, that's, that's one of mine too. Like, cause I, I do primarily squares. And like, if you look at mine here, this is how I line up my trays and mine has to kind of do with popping too. I didn't think till I look in here now before I place them. Uh -huh. And if I see big gaps or knobs, I take those out first before putting them on my tray. And yep. man, that would have that would have came in handy <laughs> for a long time. I have a nice little uh, tray of garbage that I've been picking out. Yep, that's awesome. Okay, so size popping while well, my mind is in the gutter. <laughs> Hinge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's do another one. Um, <laughs> what size. do you think? Eyes popping and you don't want to pay a lot of money for it. So there. Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's another one. What is your favorite diamond painting gadget that you probably don't need to diamond paint, but you have it because you like it? Brian. Oh God. <laughs> and honey. And I know I know you have a few, buddy. Just kidding. I don't know what you think. <laughs> No, um, was surely not my pen stand because I need that. <laughs> um, well, I'm a pen gadget. <laughs> Come on, really? I mean, well, I don't really use tweezers, that's that's the only. That's really the only thing I have, but I don't really need to, because I never use them, because only time I use tweezers is to pick out old wax out of my diamond painting pen. That's, that's fair. Okay. What about you, Rebecca? Oh, I do use my tweezers, but what would I not use? Um... Or your favorite thing that you have, like, as a luxury you know, and not necessarily something you need to complete a diamond painting, but you have it because it makes it easier or you're just a big fan of it. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, I'm excited now. We're <laughs> 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 waiting in anticipation. I know. Yeah. Are you doing this on purpose? My gnome! Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, that stabbed me right in the heart. Oh, listen, I have to tell you guys something so funny today. My granddaughter's here visiting for spring break, and she's walking through my craft room, and I have this board over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hold on. Hold on. I'll show you. Do you see that picture on the board right there? Yeah. She's okay. like... Ashley, Ashley, look closely. 
Oh, now I see it. I was looking at the YouTube one. It was delayed. Okay, I see it now. Now, you know who that is, right? Oh, is that me? That's you and Kerwin, that picture you sent me. <laughs> so she's walking, she's walking through my craft room and she's like, who is this random couple you have? <laughs> not random. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, Rebecca made an order with me and I saw a picture of her desk or something that she posted on Facebook. I don't know what I saw. And I was like, oh my gosh, you need a picture of me on it. And so when she ordered something, I was like totally sending her a picture of me and Kerwin. And yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> I, just, I wish I saw your face when you opened it. That, that's so funny. Yes. <laughs> She's like, who's this random couple? <laughs> That's, that's Uncle Kerwin and Aunt Ashley. You don't know them? I'm just kidding. Just <laughs> relatives you haven't met. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, distant relatives. No big deal. Okay, what about you, Mickey? Do you have one in mind? My pen. My diamond painting okay. pen. I don't need it, but I want it. <laughs> and I like it. That's fair. Oh, yay, Shelly. Thank you. I can't wait to have you on. Um, mine might have to be the absorbent amount of giant trays I have. <laughs> like, I'm the kind that only uses one at a time. Why I have so many, I just <clears throat> can't get myself to get rid of them. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I feel like I need them, but I know I don't. You have you know to have them. I, mean? yeah. I have to have them. Yep. All the things. <laughs> okay, everyone wants to know what we're all working on. I'm working on Diamond Art Club Galaxy. Brian, what are you working on? I'm illuminating a hat. Oh, look at you. Let me see it again. Hold up. What colors are they? Brian, hold it up again. Let me see. I think he's getting it all together, maybe. Yeah, I'm illuminating a hat. I'm just fighting with the yarn. Oh. Can we see? Oh, can we see it again or you can't show it? Oh, there it is. Oh, pretty. that's pretty. Nice. It's going to be a slouchy beanie. Ooh. Cool. I love it. Thank you. Rebecca, what are you working on there? I, I am mean, working I on craftably but... diamond painting. Do you want to I... tell them what you're doing with the trunk? Oh, I can show you. Um. Yeah, here. So the tree trunk, I don't know if you guys can see. It's It started out, um, it's supposed to be 939, the whole thing. But I added some ABs towards the outside of the tree trunk. Mm -hmm. And let me see if I can find the ones I added. Oh, here they are. So it it's really looks kind of cool when you kind of sparkles in the light. I mean, this there's still 939s in the trunk, but and this is the I use the diamond dot ones that I got here. These I don't know if you can see them. I can put some in a tray. Hold on. Did you get those from Joanne's? Yeah. Joanne's well, the diamond. They're a little bit bigger than the craftably diamonds, but it's still working. This is. So they have AB diamonds at Joann's? Yes. yes. Yeah. Ooh, I didn't know that. Yes. But yeah, but the rub is. So that's what I'm putting next to the 939. It's like a dark blue. Um. Anyway, yeah, the, the rub is their diamond dots and they don't, they're not DMC numbered. So how did you know? Which one to get? Just got I one. Didn't, the I didn't know. <laughs> I had oh. I had bought some the other day, um, just random colors, and this is the one I decided to match up to the painting. Oh, gotcha. I just have some random colors here. Um, yeah, just to throw on to different canvases if I want to. But I I the only diamond dots painting that I've done lately is that. The pillow that you saw last night. Yeah. Um, but I just thought I'd add them to this craftably because there was no ABs with this craftably. And the diamonds themselves are very 
almost like a pearl. They're very rounded, not many facets to them that you, that you can really tell. Facets. So, uh, Faucet. It's not coming out of the kitchen sink. It's Fast it. I don't know stuff. I don't know nothing, man. So when you go to pick out your real diamond rings, you ask how many facets there are. <laughs> diamond dots has 13 facets. I do pick out diamond rings all the time. So yeah, that would there help. There you go. So anyway, that's what I'm doing with the tree trunk. I just yeah, added ABs. So. I had no idea Joanne's had AB diamonds. I've saw pictures. So like, I thought they were just colored drills. I didn't realize, are they all ABs or just some? No, they have 13 colors, just of, some. 13 colors of ABs that you can pick from. Hold on. I had no idea. Yeah. Well, this just started, I think the 1st of March, all of the stores got them in. I think the 1st of March. So there's like this butter yellow. I don't know. It's kind of dark in here. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if I can. There's a butter yellow. Uh, there's a regular yellow. Um, a couple of blues that I thought I could put in the water here, but they don't really match. I don't know if you can see them. Ooh. I saw and extra sparkly on that one. This one is like an orangish red. I put that one in the pillow. Um, and then I have green. It came in a like a multi package. I don't know when I'd ever use a green AB, but but this is the only pink that they have in AB, and it's a it's almost like a sherbet pink. It's not really pink pink. It kind of looks like my pink ABs. They also have, I bought yesterday when I went to Joanne's, another multi-pack of these. Um, let's see if I can show them. Fluorescent ones. They're supposed to glow in the dark. They are? There's, a hot, pink, there's a hot pink, an orange. I don't know when I'm going to use these. I thought it's only the white one that glows in the dark. Yellow and green. Cool. Yeah. So I don't know because I can't order the sparklers. The form is closed, as you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> From last night. Oh, I tried so hard when I did my enter, you know, when I did my warm up with her to get her just after the live to open it up for like maybe four hours. For the people that came into the live, she wouldn't do it. Yeah, that's hard. Too much. She's got too much to do. Yeah, I tried. You tried. Mm hmm. <laughs> I was selfishly, I would have gone and bought something, but yeah, I would have too. Well, now we all know Joanne's has A B round diamonds, y'all. They still don't have squares though, right? No. No. Yeah. No. No squares, and you. It's not like. It's hard to, because they only have 13 colors. And, you know, this little diamond painting has 28 colors. So, I mean, unless you haul your diamond painting over to Joanne's to match up the colors, there's oh. no DMC conversion to a Diamond Dots color. I haven't seen one. Yeah. No, there isn't. So you just kind of have to eyeball it. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's still cool to know. Oh yeah. What are you working on, Mickey? I know it's a chuck for the chuck along. Of course, it's a chuckle for chuck along. <laughs> Got a gorgeous painting. <laughs> this it's is from Island painting. Time, and it's got three, two ABs, and I love it. It's the the ABs shine up so nice and make such a difference. Do you happen to? have the sticker for that one so we get to the image like i'm trying to look to see which part you're on now like i see this beautiful building but i don't remember what it looks like do you have it handy if not uh, i don't have oh wait a minute yes i have it and she is just flying through this painting oh god that is gorgeous look at that it's beautiful oh so you're you're like in the middle there on that white building i'm right working right over on this side that's awesome how big is that one? It looks huge. Um, it's 
Good question. Seventy-five by seventy-four by fifty-five centimeters. That's so awesome. It's pretty big. I'm working on it sideways. I can't work on it any other way. <laughs> I don't have enough room on my desk. Yeah, I go through the same thing with big paintings. I flip mine yeah. all sorts of different ways. I'm flipping them all the time. Yep. But so that's what we are all working on. So, so Dave, Dave says that there is a conversion chart for diamond dots to DMC. If there is, Dave, I couldn't find it. If you could direct me to that, I would love to see it. Well, here, let me try. That would make it so convenient if we need to run out and get like round drills or something. Ooh, we have Jen backstage. Yay! Hey, Jen. Oh, Jen! Jen, give me a wave whenever you're ready, girlfriend. Okay, here she comes. I see her face, so it's kind of scary. Are you sure you <laughs> want to be somewhere? I see your face. Okay, I'm bringing you in. <laughs> Jen's face. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. Hey, oh Brian. Mom. Hello, Jen. Oh so, Dave, if I mod you, would you be able to link it? Me? Oh, what? Mom, huh? mom just got it. Hey, Jen. Hey, how's everybody doing? <gasps> I see your face and it's so pretty. <laughs> oh my God, I've never seen her face. I'm like, who is that? <laughs> How do I get rid of this crazy background? <laughs> you should show your face more often. You're gorgeous. I can't see you, though. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm messing with the view. Oh, that's, that's a little better. better. If I had my glasses on, it would reflect. So then you'd see yourselves. Oh, that's goggles. DP addiction <laughs> ghost. <laughs> DP addiction <laughs> ghost. Well, Normally, I don't use my computer. I use my phone. So I labeled it ghost. So I knew it was my computer. <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> what? I can close my camera. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is crazy, Ashley. Oh, hi, Mallory. I didn't even see you come in. Hey. So, Jen, I guess you're not going to be working on anything in this one? No, I'm here. Woo. That's okay. You're working with the flow. That's all right. Sorry. Okay, so I, sorry. Don't be. Who, who are you sorry for? I'm sitting. Yeah. My, I just hung up with my mom. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. So let's. Now that Jen's in here, let's do one more burning question. Let me think. <laughs> who's, who's coughing? Who's coughing? Mickey, you okay? I am. I am oh, a Mickey. ghost. Quarantine. 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 Bad throat. Zombies are coming. So how do you guys like to frame your diamond paintings? If you do, if you don't, that's okay. But how do you guys prefer to frame them? I don't frame Brian? them. Well, I do. Let's see. I get, well, um, I do. That sounded country to me. Well, that's what I do, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but half my family from uh, Georgetown and, and all that to. stuff, so I got a little bit of country accent when it comes out. <laughs> but um, I like to get a frame that would kind of match something similar to the diamond painting, or <laughs> if not, if Don't not eat I would... good idea. <laughs> If not, then I will get like a background piece of cardstock or washi tape that kind of matches the diamond painting and make it like a border around the diamond painting. And yeah, I like frame that. It. So do you so, have a wide collection of washi tape or do you go to like ask. Michael specifically, like I need to find this red like to match your yeah hold on no i'm interested i just wrote like three pages on washi tape <laughs> quite a selection there's some washi tape holy moly i whole dollar tree bin of washi tape i i <laughs> i love washi tape 
I actually, so I when you pick the washi tape for a specific painting to put on the border, do you like the colors or designs that contrast with the picture or that kind of match it? Because I've seen both. Yeah. Like my dragon picture I'm looking up on my hey, Narita. My dragon painting I uh, did, I took some like mermaid washi tape and it was very colorful because the dragon is very colorful and it looked like scales of the dragon. And Ooh. I just ordered Ooh. It up. That sounded nice. Little. And like Brian, this, climb like, up there and get that picture down. I want to see. I'm just okay, kidding, buddy. I'll, yeah, he keeps looking above his head. Show us. Well, oh, this one I did. Oh. I added a border to this one. Wait, Interesting. Notification. Yeah, so basically I added a border to it because I like the black and white to it and all. That's one that's one of them. Oh, I fell off there. Oh. Hi okay. Cara. Good to see you. Um, but other ones It's Kara. Kara, sorry. <laughs> But other ones, I kind of made my own. <laughs> you know, I might be able to pass it. But the one that I might be able to pass it, but I know how to say Kara, pass it, faucets, facets, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, Brian, I spoke on you. Did I miss something? I'm a, I have to watch the replay. Okay, I can't say it. face it. Faucet. Pass it. Faucet. Facet. Faucet is what you get water out of. Facet is. A That's a faucet. <laughs> if you're from New York, it's a faucet. I'm sorry. I need, I need to go grab a spoon and a fork and put my clothes in the washer <laughs> and then check my diamonds for facets. <laughs> That's what I got to do here in Mid Missouri. Just kidding. Sorry, Brian. Are you done with your spiel? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Fine. I want to see Brian. You know, I want to see the washi tape like a headband. Yeah. <laughs> physical, physical. But, Brian, I do have a legit question for you, though. So, you know how people put like the washi tapes on the borders of their paintings, right? I've always noticed that my yeah. washi tape comes up so easily. Easily. Like, like, does anybody else yep. struggle with that? I agree yeah. with you. Yeah, so I spray mine down with the sticky tack spray so that that oh. is holding my canvas to whatever I'm framing. Mm -hmm. And then I use the washi tape just for decor. Interesting. That's so I found, I found this stuff here at, have you guys ever heard of Party City? Is that a store that's everywhere? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's part so I found this stuff. So it's thicker than washi tape, but it's a thin. Where's the beginning? <laughs> oh, it's here it is. Acting tape. You can. It, it's, it's like thin duct tape. Yeah. Masking and that tape. that don't come off of nothing. Oh, Where did no. you get that? Okay. That's different. Where did I you get that? Okay, so we have a Party City store in my Party town. City. Well, in Jefferson Park, Missouri. But, and they're closing down. So they had like this huge blowout sale. So I bought a bunch of it. But it's at Party City. I don't know if it's at any other store. But that doesn't come up. And I mean, it, it'll peel off of the diamond painting without damaging it either. But I like that stuff. But I did not think about spraying it with that stuff. I hope you put that in your book. Because that's yeah. brilliant. That's yeah, because there's I three pages on washi tape, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Got a wishy washy here, a wishy washy there. <laughs> Ain't nobody got no time for no wishy washy. We got all the wishy washy. <laughs> Sorry, I, I can go on forever. I don't know. Um, we know. I want the party. <laughs> party City is an overpriced birthday party store. Or wedding store. Unless they go out of business, then you get like 70% off of Earthine. Let's see, Jen, your hair yeah. looks fine. I want if I get. I'm like missing. Or Michael's. 
Oh, oh it's you get flat, that I haven't Michael? showered today. You said what are Michaels, Brian? Dollar Tree or Michaels? Oh, Dollar Tree. I didn't know they had washi tape. Yep, they do. Yep. Got a good washi here. Oh, wait, okay, I won't go on that again. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so that's how Brian does it. How do, do you have any tips or tricks, Rebecca? Framing? I have framed in uh, I, no two paintings the same way. So I don't have a favorite. Um, how about the easiest one? One that that's not framed. I've got one that's got masking tape on the on the sides of it. I've got one that's. I did frame this with a like a Walmart frame, but I used a border of a of this black carpet tape, which is really cool. And then this the gnome thing I used like a wrapping paper border, a Christmas wrapping paper border. Um. So, and then if, I, if I'm just buying a regular frame, which I try to do if it'll fit, I wait till, you know, they go on sale at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Diamond Artworks, I totally know. My kid's going to be home for three weeks, too. The whole state of Michigan. He might even be home four because at the end of the three weeks is spring break. Crashly, Mindy wants to know what's the difference between a heifer and a hooter. Oh, okay. So we have hooters on our chest. You know, they're <laughs> big lump on women. And sometimes we have boulder holders to hold them up so our backs don't hurt. So that those are hooters. Um, heifers is a female cow. Heifer, <laughs> heifer is a term <laughs> of endearment in Texas. And Marissa is Ooh. part of the gang, so... We it's use it as a term of endearment. Hooters it became a part of the name because the first time they invited me in, I had no bra on. <laughs> so we went with Hooters and Heifers. <laughs> okay, that sounds logical. Yeah. Oh, Mindy, so I, I went to. Middle. I don't know what Brian's doing, Mendy. He's he's in his own world. <laughs> he's always is always. Is. always is. He's just not diamond painting. He's loom knitting. And he's, he's probably trying to untangle himself from the yarn. <laughs> hey, Debbie. Welcome. Glad you made yarn it. wrapped around him. So, Mickey, what, what are your tips with framing or how do you like to do it? Well, I don't really frame mine that I keep. Those that I keep, <clears throat> I either lay down in a closet or I hang up on my wall with a couple of thumbtacks. <laughs> oh, you keep but, the white border on? Yeah, I keep the white border on sometimes. Uh, a couple of times I've mounted some on foam core board. I've been wanting to know how to do that. It's very easy. You just, you just glue it, it or what do you do? Side spray. Oh, and it doesn't come off? No, if you, <clears throat> you spray both sides, you spray the uh, foam core. Mm -hmm. And then you spray, spray the back of the painting and you wait a few minutes until it becomes tacky, mm -hmm. put them together, they're never coming apart. They're married that. for life. Yep. <laughs> There's no so, divorcing those babies. No, oh, so no, 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 you, foam to board, you can try, but okay. you won't. Continue. Do you cut yeah. the foam board to size or like do you put a background on it? Well, actually, I. I don't cut it to size. I put the foam, the the painting on it first, then I cut the foam core, See? so that I know that it's going to be an exact cut and not have any overages. And then, and then you I'll have use, to measure. I'll use tape or something on the sides, or heck yeah, oh, I use hi, a magic marker. <laughs> so Jen, have you done a chapter on framing? No, I haven't. <clears throat> That's well, nice. we've I, given you a lot of I good stuff. I had to stop at some point as to what I was putting in the book. When they <laughs> wow. first told me 150 pages, I was like, holy cow, on diamond painting. Now that's and then not now enough. I'm like, I need this to be a 300 page book. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm just trying to think of questions that I hear asked a lot. Like, and framing is one of them, along with like sealing. But so I have a tips and tricks chapter 
that I'm going to kind of include little, I call them vignettes, little taste of sending you in the right direction. Like here's- a vignette? That sounds like a fancy hat. <laughs> <laughs> or that Miss Elliot song, but I'm not gonna sing it because I'm not about to get flagged again. Um, I know Di Diamond Dave was in the in the chat. I don't know if he's still there, but he's got a really um, informative video on framing. Yes, he yeah. does. Rebecca. Ooh, he does. I didn't know yes. that. Yes, he does. So I would check that out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, Yvonne. Is it Yvonne? You, you don't pronounce the Y. It's not Yvonne. Yvonne. <laughs> Yvonne. That's how you, say you that do name. pronounce the Y. You just make it an E or an long uh, an I. Yvonne. Oh. Yvonne. Holy moly! Thank you for all the sales. That's all I'm gonna say. I love you so much. <laughs> Woo. Mindy, what's your great idea? Yeah, you can't just you can't just leave us with. I have a great idea. Yeah. Vaughn, you know, Vaughn. Vaughn, that, that's easy for me. Not like facets. <laughs> How about anyway, motto? Or what's your favorite way to frame, Jen? Or do you have one? Um, uh. I like to put them in my portfolio because I have too many to frame. Great. So, now I have like 10 more questions. I How do you find a portfolio that can fit giant paintings that you do? Oh, that's easy. Well, if I have a portfolio that's like two and a half by three and a half feet big. Holy tits. And so then I spray it and adhere it to the paper that's in the portfolio because it's like a plastic. And then I leave maybe a quarter to a half an inch of the border and then use the washi tape. And then um, slide it into the plastic of the portfolio. So um, I have probably six or seven framed, but most of them are in the portfolio. Intriguing. You can make a portfolio out of those trifold um, Ooh, boards that they have. Like for science fairs, Mickey? Yep. Yeah. Yep, that's what I do with my uh, my stash. I that's lay it flat is, in yeah. the poster board. What I like about this portfolio is it's actually in plastic, so you can flip it, and so yeah. you can show people all your work. Yes, yeah, so Diamond um, Diamond Art Addiction in the chat has a question. Um, what do we think of patty wax? Oh, I have, I got this one. Well, my opinion anyway, anyway. Okay, well, I have an opinion. <laughs> okay, well, well, I'll, we'll do that one next. So, okay. I just, okay, for my framing, I don't, I've only framed one because I ain't got no time for that. So they're just hanging up on pants hangers behind me. But one I framed in a shadow box and that was cool. Ooh, I, nice. I outlined it like Brian does, but I used that kind of duct tape I showed you, but I have silver glitter and it was for Yoda. So that's how I do mine in a shadow box. Cool. Okay, but about patty wax. Let me tell you about some, pa some patty wax stuff. Okay. First of all, <laughs> I feel, my opinion, there's a few different types of diamond painters, right? So there's the heavy drillers, right? The ones that pick up their drill and they like, want to kill their painting or something That's so they're me. like <laughs> you know? so, so then you get boogers now let me tell you about boogers you get there <laughs> you get angry and you, you and then you get boogers okay now we're all familiar with boogers we've all been sick a time or two you got the snotty boogers and you got the chunky boogers so this is chunky boogers now again <laughs> Rachel Ray just posted a video about her comparing the different patty waxes. You got the patty wax SS and you got the regular old patty wax here. So check out her video if you want a more informative and stop it. You're distracting me. I'm distracted now. Ugh. Kerwin. Anybody got any Adderall? I'm just kidding. I don't need any Adderall. Anyway. <laughs> so. 
this patty wax, you, you do have to warm it up to get it to go in your pen. Okay. To warm it up, you can breathe I'm on it. Ashley. Warm it up. Quit poking me. Ow, my eye. Oh. Ow. Oh. Quit that tickle. Okay, anyway. I'm picking on you, sister. I I just can't. We were talking about boogers, and so now she's trying to Bitch. pick mine. I don't know what she's doing. Bitch. Elliot. <laughs> so I never warmed up my patty wax. Really. I'm goosing her. I just. I just I just I can't do this with all this distraction. I can't concentrate. <coughs> patty wax. You're talking about patty wax. Okay. Sure. So to load it, Burgers. this is how I load it. You know, you just do it like this, you get a big chunk, and then I stab my table. Stab it, it goes in there. Got your boogers on the side. Okay. So you get it in there, and then you could take a diamond here. You're going to sacrifice this diamond. This is the diamond we have to sacrifice to fulfill the need of the diamond painting goddess. It needs a sacrifice. Are we going to throw so, it into the volcano like a virgin? No, we're going to put our boogers on it. So if you put this pen newly loaded with patty wax on this diamond here, and you press relatively hard and give it a little twist. twist oh, twist, hi, John. Good to see you. And then we sacrifice the diamond. Now I have boogers. <laughs> I'm just going to wipe those boogers okay, off. Ashley, scientifically, you've always had boogers. <laughs> well, I just got rid of my pen boogers. And now it's just fine. Okay. Now, let's say I ain't got no time for that drama, right? I, psh, shit. I, I mean, I ain't got no time for no boogers. I ran out of Kleenexes. The store sold out of toilet paper and Kleenexes. So now I, I just got to live my life. The only person I can't pick on is Rebecca. So, you can get a different kind of wax. Mickey. It's, not, it's not your brother's wax. It's not your sister's wax. And it's definitely not your mama's wax. <laughs> There you go. Are you just This is Beth Mitten. Isn't it Beth Mitten? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Beth Mitten. From Whimsical Daisy's Etsy shop. Ooh, she has not your mama's good. It looks like a blended up tongue. Okay. This stuff <laughs> is awesome. You oh, yeah. get <laughs> Once it's, you get it open, it's great. Yeah, some of us struggle with opening it while others don't. <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> After having this stuff, I prefer Beth Minton's Not Your Mama's Wax. And it ain't her mama's wax. It's her wax, you know? Well, I want to try the uh, super sticky. I do want to try that as well. I have not tried that, so I do not have an opin opinion on I that. I love the mud. Yeah. Yes. I'm a big fan of the mud <laughs> so far. Oh, oh my gosh. My dog is... And and Lord, if you would like to list that Etsy shop, Whimsical Daisies, feel free. I don't know if they have any in stock. I didn't look. I haven't tried super sticky, but I got to tell you, the patty, I gave up on patty wax. I <laughs> it just was, I put it in my bra and, you know, warm it up as warm as my boob is going to get. And um, it just didn't work for me. So I do love Beth Minton's Not Your Mama's. Mud. Really? Yeah. Once I got the lid off, it was terrific. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, some of us struggle. Yes. <laughs> the struggle is real. No, some of us just need to see another person open it and then they open it. I don't know how, how that goes. <laughs> Oh. I, I appreciated your help, though. That was terrific. Oh, I'm glad I could be there for you always. <laughs> but I mean, our addiction, we shouldn't have to take a million steps like warming it up. I went to DP, not stuff shit in my bra. You know, that's we all went through high school and did that. I'm an adult. I don't need to stuff my bra. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, I never had to stuff my bra. Neither did I. <laughs> oh, neither. It was a sad moment. <laughs> And mom just says, heck, pink wax isn't that bad. Again, it's exactly. what I don't think you have to have in order to diamond paint. 
but some of us like all the things. Okay. Hi, my name is Crashly, and I like to get all the things. And it <laughs> no, it's just what it is. How many wax might be missing out on something? You never know. And I, I like Beth Mittens because it lasts longer too. The pink wax, I found myself having to dig it out and refill it. But Mindy, what's your opinion on the patty wax deal? Mickey. Wow, wow. Oh, talking to me? Yes, patty wax. What patty do you wax. I like it. Day. I like it for my multi placers. I it takes a little getting used to. You have to really pack it in there. And then you have to make sure that you sacrifice a line of beads the same way because it's still going to ooze out a little bit. But it works. I like it. Yep. I think you're going to get the boogers no matter what at first. Yep. You just clear them out and then you live your life. And you're always going to have a sacrifice the first time you use it. So <laughs> to the diamond painting gods. What am I, what am I looking for? Jen, do you have an opinion on the wax? I do. Try my book and you'll hear about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just kidding. Just um, Patty, oh. wax, I like it for my multi placer. I cannot get it to work in the single placer. I haven't used the super sticky yet. Um, Beth's, I think I need to change my single place tip out. Because I think it's waxy from the pink wax because it keeps popping out on me. Well, you and that's go. another good point. I think the single placers bend or something. Because like, yeah. has anyone noticed that like they just, no matter what wax you use or how many, I don't know, times you switch, it just runs out quicker or something. But yeah. switch them out and you're fine. I have a question for all of you. What about Let's the plastic single placers? I haven't really used them. The what? The plastic single placers? Plastic single placers. I don't like them. I, I got some from my pink raspberry. I got that pen with it, and it had a plastic. I, I just don't like it. I feel like, mine, like it bends too much. Like it, I don't know. Because I'm a pretty quick driller. It ruins. Know. It gets. Angie, <laughs> I've thought of that. <laughs> Mindy, Mindy wants somebody to come to her house and make the patty wax work. <laughs> uh, that's funny. If I could make it work, I'd come there and show you. Robin does have some tutorials on her channel on how to use it. Yes. How did I get the lid off? Nareda wants to know how I got the lid. I, you know, I struggled and struggled and struggled. And then. Crashly goes and gets hers, unboxes it, opens it right up, and then I try mine again, and it opened. Yeah, so, so you just need to find an unboxing video, maybe, and then, like, just watch somebody open it, and then, like, you get the book or something. Yeah, That's it's, it's really weird. It just, all of a sudden, it just opened. They, like, have, a, like, a Morse code, like, all the Not Your Mama waxes, and so once one opens, then they talk to each other. <laughs> like, subconsciously and then they you know decide to work i just made all that up just letting you know <laughs> oh god oh so my you guys, god. You guys did you like guess what i did today based on what i'm going to tell jennifer uh-oh okay did you know that turtles can breathe out of their butt what what yeah i've seen frozen too frozen too i watched it today She's so good. And water has memory. Water has memory. Oh, I've only watched it a hundred billion times. I watched <laughs> it for the first time. I first time today was so cute. For the first time in for oh, sorry. But I thought of Jennifer when she said, Do you know turtles can breathe out of their butt? <laughs> <laughs> that was useful information though. <laughs> yes. So, oh gosh, we're already down to like 30 minutes left, y'all. So oh, do you guys want to play Pictionary or do you want to just keep jibber jabbering? Well, I can watch. I uh, don't have anything in front of me. 
Okay, well, you can I guess. could do like charades. <laughs> <laughs> I could airdrop. I can't see too clearly. I can see clearly now. No singing. Oh, no. Crashly had a, a bad experience last week, guys. I thought they made me mute all my music. It's because I wasn't here to stop you. I know. <laughs> well, she, she assured us that Kerwin had, you know, checked and made sure all of the music was okay. So I was not going to say anything, but... <laughs> You well, then people it. complained, I don't know this era of music. And I'm like, okay. If it was all okay, yeah. why did they make you sure to just shut it off? They hid my video, and then I had, it was a couple Taylor Swift songs. Tay, Tay does not like her stuff. Spread on the internet, I guess. But all we did was share another YouTube video, okay? It was a different YouTube video. We gave that YouTube video credit, and the name of that YouTube video was literally, Guess This Song. So they did literally <laughs> the exact same thing that I was doing. Exactly. So how there is a video of the same thing out there in the YouTube world that doesn't get somebody flagged, that does, I don't know. Because somebody said Bye, something. Diamond Heart Addiction. Bye, Sherry. See you later. Exactly. I think somebody probably reported it. But that's yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. You know what? I, it doesn't matter what you do. I'm always, I don't know about you, but someone's always going to give you a thumbs down and someone's always not going to be happy with what you do. Yeah. Oh yeah. I already got two thumbs down on this one. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, whatever I made unhappy, I am super sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Not. It was probably me. <laughs> but thumbs down are so good. Whatever. Yeah, because they think thanks for the watch time. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, yeah. so we can just keep asking questions then if you guys are yeah, okay. That's that. fine. Okay. Okay. You want. Just because I don't think Brian's in the position now to where he can draw anyway. So <laughs> that's all right. Yeah. So the like I said, the other common question that I see is about sealing, like should I seal? Do I have to seal my painting? Why would I? Or how do you do it? So, Brian, what is your opinion on sealing diamond paintings? Once, really, I don't seal mine because if I'm putting it behind glass or anything, I think it's going to or some some frames they come with like a plax, um plastic plexiglass kind of uh-huh uh glass and I really don't seal them because I'm scared I might like ruin it or if I'm doing if I'm not framing it in a frame then I will seal it because I just don't want the diamonds to fall off and plus on top of that I just take a little bit of water and some Mod Podge and dilute it down and just go across of it like one time and then I let that dry and then uh, if I need to go over it again then I will I will go over it again and that will seal it right up the ones I don't frame behind glass or plexiglass or something, but the Can ones I, I frame in frames, then I just don't seal them. So the ones that you frame behind glass, you don't seal. The others you do with watered down Mod Podge. Yes. Okay. And when you use the Mod Podge, do you use the regular or the um, that glossy crap? Gloss. <laughs> Crap. How do you really um, feel? The, one, uh, the original one, the matte mm -hmm. one, will dull the sparkle all the way around because I already had that happen to me one time before. And I just get the gloss or the uh, super uh, the super glitter. Mm. And it adds a little bit of glitter to it. Cool. Okay. Good deal. It's what about, glitter. That's what what about you? When I first started diamond painting, I thought you were supposed to seal everything. So I sealed my first several diamond paintings, but 
Um, I don't think I've sealed anything since then. I This Love and Roses, I'm probably going to seal because there's one particular color that has some popping drills and I'm just going to try to hold them down and seal it. <laughs> I see. So you, you only seal if you feel like they might like, pop off. Yeah. Fair I'm enough. The way. Yep, yep, yep. You're the I'm same the, way, Mickey? I'm the same way. I, I sealed um, two paintings that I gave away without frames and I sealed them so that it would make it easier if they didn't want to use glass. Um, I used, what did I use? I used deco art, oh. triple thick, and it was made it very hard and I didn't like it. So I have don't seal anymore. I mean, if I had something that was going to be handled like a, a book or a wallet or one of those purses, then I would seal it. I see. So you you mainly seal, or you definitely seal ones that get used. Like, what about notebooks? Do you do that too? Yeah, I would seal a notebook. So when you do seal those things, what what method or? Oh, you said that. Okay. I haven't. I haven't yet. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm what still about you, Jen? Thinking about it. <laughs> nice, Brian. Um, I seal most of mine because um, the rumors that after 10 years, the glue breaks down. And so I wanted to make sure at least the ones I really like, um, I seal. And I use the Tombow because it's a water-based sealant. Tombow. Um, so therefore it's the blue, it's blue if you look for Tombow. And, um, yeah, so I feel like it doesn't take the sparkle away from the gems or drills and um, it's going to protect it and kind of be that secondary glue in case the glue underneath breaks down after 10 years. Now, yep, Brian's got it right there. So oh. Oh, one, that. it's aqua <clears throat> glue. So ones that I'm not hugely you know, connected to, I won't seal. I just put them in my portfolio. But ones that I took a lot of time and I really love, I will seal them. Gotcha. So with that stuff, do you just pour it on there and spread it on? Yeah, right. If you can remove the bottom one since you have it, the big thick part. So I squeeze out of there. And then I actually use okay. my fingers and rub over. I used to use that little paintbrush thing that's on it, but I use my fingers because I can see it. Oh. I can feel that it's getting down into the drills. And it's water-based, so it washes off. Exactly. And it doesn't yellow your drills because it's water-based. Interesting. And you can um, get that at, like, craft stores? Or where yeah, did you get so it? Yeah, so normally I'll go to Michael's because they're $2.99 or $3 here in Michigan. And I'll use a 40 or 50% off coupon almost every time I go. So I, I have like six or seven of them on hand. And mm -hmm. one of those will do about one and a half to two 40 by 50s. Oh, that's good that's to know. Um, but yeah, that's... Did I, you say you do or do not seal the ones in your portfolio? If I really love it, I'll seal it. Okay, just a extra protection. But you have to be careful because you, it becomes, it's sealed. It becomes hard and not as flexible. So if you do flex it, you're going to crack break some of that seal. So my next thing is to look into the spray sealers. Angie, I know you said um, you're asking that question. I know... Ella on Kicking Cancer's Butt did a whole series, and I know on sealing. And then I also know that Brandy on Abstract Crafter did a whole series on sealing. And so I need to catch up and watch those. Um, but yeah, I want to also look at the spray sealings. But when you seal, you're putting a layer on top, so the canvas is not going to be as flexible. That's a good point. It's going to almost act like cardboard. Yep. <clears throat> That's exactly what happens. Well, for me, how, I, I seal all of mine too, just 
I don't know why I do. I just what do. What do you use? So I use the I use Mod Podge Super Glossy. Oh, good to know, Mindy. She she gave us a spray option. Patricia Nimrock. Anyway, um, so yeah, I use uh, Mod Podge Super Gloss. And I take, I have this Mod Podge brush that I bought from Hobby Lobby, which is like a really fine kind of thick brush. And I just dip it right in the Mod Podge Super Gloss. And like on squares, I like put it all over and I go like up and down with my brush and side to side all over. And then I take a very, very damp cloth, not like a cotton one with all the frillies or the like the, you know, extra fuzz balls on it. And then I wipe the surface off. So then you still have the Mod Podge and all the cracks mm -hmm. to let it seal. And then I let it dry for at least 24 hours. Yeah. And that does the trick every time. And it adds, like, I think it adds extra sparkle to it. I have not tried the Mod Podge glitter. I actually didn't even know that was a thing. But now that I know it's a thing, I might try that. But <laughs> I like the super gloss, but I, I still wipe off with a very, very, very damp cloth the surface just to keep like the natural shine on. And I don't want it extra I don't want to overdo the shine you know to take away from it I don't want it to have that little clear waxy coating mm -hmm. that's why I wipe off the surface because really I just want to seal the in, in between parts you know yep uh, do you notice the different in the canvas flexibility or is it the same I, I think it's the same okay it depends on too like diamond art clubs canvases are very soft and flexible and but you still have those ones like the other companies where you have like the cardboard i don't know the, the what's the word um plastic yeah like plastic or stiffer canvases and but i don't notice a difference after sealing it but again i don't coat it i don't like i wipe the surface so there's not so much i just have it in between the drills hmm. but that's why i make sure i brush this way and brush this way and then wipe the surface off. I'll have but to I try think, that. That's I plan on doing a video with comparing different types of sealers. Um, I'm just waiting on different varieties because I I saw one um, from I think her name was Studio Sam. Um, I saw her video and she like taped off her um, canvas and sealed it with different things. So I kind of want to try that experiment too, but with the more up to date methods maybe because I do have. Have you guys ever heard of three dimensional magic? No. It's like, um, it's the kind of glue that you can use to make cabochons. Like it can put a dome on things. Oh. And so I kind of want to see what that would do and just try different things. But um, I'm with you guys. I don't think it's completely necessary, especially if you're putting it in a frame. It just for me, it adds another layer of security for me because I heard the same rumor, like they lose their stick after 10 years. I don't know. So I'm just like, well, why not? I did all this work. Why not just take Abstract a little bit? Crafter. Abstract Crafter did a whole series on uh, sealing, and she compared almost every sealer out there. Oh, I didn't see that one. She's still doing it. Abstract Crafter. And she's still doing it. She's still testing out different sealers. And Shelly said I was going to try some clear glue from the dollar store, but lost it somewhere in the house. See, if you do that, that's so thick, you know, like, I don't, I don't know if I would do that. I feel like the clear glue really would get rid of the shine because when it dries, it's all murky, you know, like if you put the glue on a piece of paper, you know, and spread it out like a thin layer and let it dry, see how murky it is. Like you could write on a Sharpie or something, write like a letter, you know? And then put a little dab, spread it thin over the letters, see how murky it is. Or I don't know how else you could test that. But I would do that before putting it on a painting. Because you work so hard on them, you know? Like, yep. how mad would you be? <laughs> Very. Did yeah, you guys I'm ever so put scary. glue on your hands and let it dry and then peel it off in school? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I do that as an adult. <laughs> I do that as a reminder. And I get some on my hands and I don't wipe it off. I just let it dry just so I can peel it off later. <laughs> it's easy to peel off. Brian has a hat coming. Come along nicely. Looks beautiful. <laughs> Is that for me, Brian? Nice yarn. It can be. You know, that Ooh. reminds me of those buckets on the pool tables. What? Yep. <laughs> 
again. Just the way you were holding I didn't think about it. That. <laughs> yeah. The so true. <laughs> you, Angie super glues each diamond as she you plays. You do not, diamond. Angie. You don't do that. That's insane. I Nobody don't does that. That'd be crazy. Angie's still working right. on her first DP. From <laughs> <laughs> If she's super gluing each diamond, oh yeah. my god, Angie, that makes that just makes me nauseous just thinking about that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Can you oh my god. <laughs> so she's laughing. She she doesn't do that. <laughs> oh you imagine? Can you imagine had to do that? I I did that with my stupid one painting. What was it called? Which one did I just finish, Jen? Um, 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 it was um, from the um, <laughs> gosh dang it, Victoria's Moon. Yes, Victoria's oh, Moon. Oh, yes, the part where the double sided tape came up, but it was just a little corner I had to do that on. You just inspired me to show the ceiling of this purse flowers. What? What are you, are you gonna frame the Victoria's Moon? Because I think yours turned out really nice. Hell no. <laughs> So of it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use that one for the ceiling experiment. Oh, there you go. <laughs> above my head, y'all. Not that kind of ceiling. God, that was so funny. Not the ceiling on the, like on the roof. Ceiling <laughs> as in ce ceiling. That kind. Oh, ceiling as in ceiling. I like that. That's very the kind that starts with an S. Not a ceiling. Not a C. <laughs> I'm gonna see how much of the face it can still see after feeling it. Do you have a ball there, Brian? My God. <laughs> I have seen people use mini wax polyurethane water based. I can say polyurethane and I can say linoleum. Just saying. No. I can't okay. Say it, All right. I have a question for you guys. Ready. Is there a word in the English language that you just, for the life of you, cannot spell? Like, I cannot spell the word definitely, no matter how hard I try. Um. Well, I am in the medical field and I cannot spell anesthesiology to save my life. <laughs> oh my God. And I have to write that thing five, ten times a day uh, and I still cannot spell it. Oh, I know one premiere. Every time I post about my premieres, no matter how I spell it, and I think I have it, it always gets underlined in red and I have to right click it. Okay. Every single time. P-R-E-M-I-E-R-E-E-I-R-E. -E 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 -I, -R -E. I just don't know how to spell it. <laughs> I refer to you except after C or it's sounding like A as in neighbor and way. What? <laughs> I refer to you except after C or when sounding like A as in neighbor and way. Now I would have I have a neighbor down the way. Now, Brian, what do you answer to that one? I see. <laughs> I before E except after C. Yeah, you've never heard that, Ashley? And not about the neighbor down the way. Or when or when sounding like A as in neighbor and way. I never heard that part. No, well, that's how I knew. I'm not sure. I Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I remember that one. <laughs> or never eat shredded wheat for north, south, east, and west. What? Like asterisk. That's really hard for me to remember. Asterisk. Or aesthetics. Aesthetic. I, -E I played crossword, not crossword, vocabulary, um, crossword puzzles with my mom every day, every evening. So spelling is easy for me. Well, Good for you, Mickey, you get five gold stars. <laughs> Holmes. Can I cash them in? Yeah, <laughs> or, sure. I don't know what I'll do. Buy more diamond paintings for toilet paper. No, nah, for diamond paintings, I don't need oh. toilet paper. <laughs> well, yeah, toilet paper costs three thousand dollars a roll nowadays. 
<laughs> did you see that video that someone did? No. This is oh my God. video of a guy pulling up in a car to another guy on the street corner and oh, doing I his that. That was fun. undercover thing for a roll of toilet paper and one hand sanitizer. <laughs> Where is this video? I don't remember, but I found it. Is that the one where he says, "If you, I, I've got three ply in the trunk. It's in the home. Right oh, DB Sisterhood. <laughs> it's on the DB Sisterhood, Ashley. Oh, my God. I have to go find it. Oh, it's really funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, oh, so we're we're down to nine minutes, y'all. Because I am 25% on my computer. I'm like, please don't die. So I have to show you guys a picture. Hold on. Let me find it. Well, you better hurry, woman. Okay. It's not going to take nine minutes. <laughs> well, maybe it will. I don't know. All tips. <laughs> Mindy, I remember something is with Holmes, but I can't remember to save my life what it means. What? What? Read the chat, Crashly. No what. Holmes stands for. Uh, no. Like when you have more than one home. No, it's like an English. It's an anagram. A banana gram. All right, nice to see you again. Here's a banana gram. <laughs> Send a message via Here's banana gram. Brian, you gotta oh, see what she's doing. Cute. She's making a hat. <laughs> oh, did she get past her first two rows? Oh my God. I bet her that she couldn't finish it while she's here this week. The girl's almost finished. Oh, Mandy, it. that makes sense. I knew it was oh. something. She is almost finished with the darn thing. Honduras, Ontario. Honduras? Honduras. What was it called? I don't remember. Huron. Here on, why did I say Honduras? That's the most <laughs> random thing. <laughs> what was that question you asked in our chat the other day? Something about the railroad dude? Yes, what, and what? you thought it was Paul Bunyan. That's the blue box guy. Paul Bunyan. <laughs> Paul Bunyan's a guy that did something. Yeah, it's John Henry. John Henry. Yeah. Johnny Cat a song about John Henry. Paul Bunyan is fiction. Yeah, it's oh. uh, Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, and Superior. Well, now if you can only figure out the Mayans and the Incas, you go away. <laughs> <laughs> what? So um, I traded in my water. You guys want any? <gasps> what? Ooh. Is it beer? Oh, oh it's mine. Nice going. I'll take a glass. There you All go. Right, up your glass. I'll yeah. pour it in. <laughs> I drank all my coffee. All right, guys. Well, we have to say goodbye to the Hooters and Heifers now because I have to like end it with some stuff and then play the credits. But thank you guys so much for joining. Oh, you're so welcome. Take thank care. Thank you for having us. Cheers, you with my empty coffee cup. Woohoo! Cheers. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got water. Hold on. Water. Hi, <laughs> sweetheart. I got water. All right. See you later. It's been real. I really appreciate you all. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Thank you for having us, Crashly. Thank you guys. See you later. Much. We'll see you guys later. I'll talk to you probably after this too. Bye, Bye y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of that craziness. I told you it was going to be crazy, right? But I wanted to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And I love, love my Hooters and Heifers gang. Thank you guys for coming on at such short notice. I appreciate it. And again, if any of you want to be on the Sunday social show, usually there's only one person, but if somebody cancels or for whatever reason, like the roof leaks or whatever, something that they can't help if they have to cancel, then I bring in my clan here. <laughs> but if you guys want to be a guest on the show, fill out that form, please. I would love to have you. Um, but I appreciate you guys so much for being here. Again, if you're new and just watching this for the first time, 
please consider subscribing. We're almost halfway to a thousand. I'm so excited. But I appreciate every single one of you so, so much. Thank you guys for being here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run the end credits. But again, thank you so much for watching. You guys all rock. Let me tell you. I am just, I don't know. I love you all to death. But I am going to go ahead and do the end credits. So I will see you guys in the next one. Head on over to Diamond Painting with Dave's Live. He's up next. So I will see you guys later.